Okay, hey guys, this is, is the Rock Slam Night Five bringing you a NCAA Football 10 commentary against 10 on three games that me and Bligen played uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they will be one minute quarters, and we played three games. So this will be about a 10 minute commentary. Yeah, sorry, it's so long. So anyway, um, basically what we did is I chose to be the really crappy team, and he chose to be the really good team, and we just figured out who would who would win. Uh, well, first of all, so yeah, he scores there, and then he gets a goal, so yeah. So it's 7 nothing. now. Okay, so then they kick off, and then I get the ball, I'm, I'm going to be going to attack these LSU. Uh, basically the point of it, the point of all of this is to let the other guy score. Because if you do, then you get the ball. If you have the ball, then you can control the clock all the way down to the half. So as you see, it's already the second quarter. And so yeah, so I'll just run the ball here, and then notice how the clock keeps running down. I'll just keep running, then running and running down the clock until I have to use my all until I have to start using my timeouts. And I'll let you know when I use the timeout. So there's one, and then or no, no, there's not one there, but hang on, it's coming up here soon because there's oh okay, so there I use one timeout there. There's nine seconds left, eight seconds, seven seconds timeout, and then the one timeout. Oh, it's open. And then timeout. Ooh, I may got timeout with one second left. And boom, I scored. Touchdown. Alright. And the other point is to make sure that you kick off first. Because if you kick off, then you guarantee to have the ball in the second half. And you have the ball in the second half, so you can run the clock all the way down. So it's, it's, it, it's, it's better to go ahead and play defense and then have them give the ball to you after you stop them on fourth down or so, or if they come. So yeah, basically I'll just run out the clock, and that's just basically what happens. I think I won by field goal actually. So yeah, and three, two, one. That's the end of the third. Start of the fourth. I see trying to pull those guys away, so I'll just dive back in there, and then run some shotgun, and I'll just dive back in the middle. He's down two timeouts. I took a knee. Be a noob, yes, I know. He's down the one timeout now. And he's the last, last timeout. And I ice kicker. And I made it. So. so. Yeah. And then he'll have. Three, and it's a three point game. And. He tries to do it. And he can't. He just and boom interception game s over. I tried to score here, but this QB. Oh wait, no, yeah, it was QB who beat me. Why is the why, why is the quarterback faster than the quarterback? That's a good question. Okay, second game. No, uh, he's being Alabama. I'm Idaho. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I uh, get the ball first, which is not a good thing. And basically, I'll just run out the clock throughout the entire first half, and then I'll score with like one second left. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. But so basically, the main topic I want, I want to talk about today was um was the BCS rankings and how everything's been shaping out so far. Um, as you know, Oregon's taken over the number one spot past Auburn. Um, let's see, Oregon. Um, Oregon played Ole Miss that weekend. Uh, Auburn played. Uh, oh shoot, who they play? They played. I don't think a very good school. I can't remember. But they, yeah. So Oregon takes over first place. Uh, Auburn second. Boise State's third. Uh, TCU fourth, and Alabama gets back to fifth place, which is kind of weird. It's. I mean, it's a pretty good question why we have a one lost team in the top five. I mean, this is not a little weird. Oh wait, so this is zero looking for a guy. Running, running, throwing, interception. So that wasn't very good by me. That wasn't very well executed by me. So I kick the outside kick. And I get it, but there's a flag. So he'll get the ball. And he runs the option. And yeah. 
basically it's just he's gotta be the he wants to be the bigger noob in this game. <clears throat> Alright, uh I'll kick a field goal here and he makes it. So it's three nothing right now. And basically my job is simple, just run out the clock and go down the field and then kind of get a touchdown. So he tries to be that kid who would always do that. And yeah, so then I'll just go out of bounds, short and simple pile drive there. I call time out for some reason, I don't know why. Hit the Y button, boom, right there. Anyway, um, as I was saying, uh, why is there one less in the top five? I mean, it's bad enough that we, that our system is screwed up this much, why do we have a one last team in the top five? It just, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Michigan State <coughs> got hammered, hammered by Iowa, and it was pretty fun. Oh yeah, and I'll score there, and then I'll go for the two-point conversion, and I got it. Okay. So, I win 8-3, to three, and we're starting the third and final game. Um, I'm Duke, he's USC, and this doesn't work out too well for me. Uh, yeah, turn the circle there, just be neat. Anyway, Michigan State played Iowa over this weekend. Um, it was pretty ugly for Michigan State, I'm not going to lie. Um, just, they threw about, I think it was, they threw four picks, or Kirk Cousins threw four picks. Uh, one was a pick six, and it was a, I mean, it was a funny pick six, because how bad, uh, Michigan State playing. Um, let's see, what else happened during the day? Florida Georgia went on, they went into overtime. Uh, the kicker, he missed two, he has missed two, um, he missed two, shoot, two field goals, uh, throughout the entire game, and, it, and Urban Meyer was, was, like, he was really depending on him to make sure he kicks his right. Uh, he finally did, and they won the game in overtime. So, but it took a while, it took a while. Uh, I watched the Wizard Oregon USC game. Uh, that was pretty good. Um, basically, Oregon, uh, uh, yeah, Oregon just ran, they just ran the table on them. Oh, yeah, well, well, watch this play right here. Watch this play. I can't believe this happened. I'm so mad at myself. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Six seconds left. How could that happen? Ah, uh, gosh dang it. And then basically he already won the game. Because I'm giving the ball to him. So basically he's just going to run down the clock and score. With like zeros on the clock. So it'll be pretty simple for him. And I'll end up losing the game. Okay, yes, I know. Um, well... I must say that, uh, that's just fun. Um, I'll have, I'll have a couple more commentaries up, up on my channel within, uh, the days or so. See, today's Tuesday, so probably by Thursday I'll have a lot more uploaded. Depends on, uh, when I'm doing school or whatever. Okay. Anyway, um, one minute left on the fourth, and we'll just be a noob and run around like a noob. I have one timeout left. 30 seconds. 29 seconds. 26. 1. 0. Game over. Alright, well, this is Xerox1195, and I enjoyed this commentary. I hope you all did too. Uh, please check out my channel, rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.